Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm doing a beer that I don't think I've done at all for the Brutal Battle Beer Breaks. Uh, any, I mean, any beer from this brewery. Uh, I know we've had it on the regular show a few times, but um, the Victory Brewing out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Now, I had not seen any barrel-aged stuff from Victory until this beer that I saw on the shelf. Picked it up for Rebecca um, just to you know, find a way to get around my, um, limitation on buying beers, <laughs> and, um, it is actually something she should like, but at any, any rate, it is the Java Cask, it's a bourbon barrel-aged coffee stout, and it is 14.3% alcohol by volume, um, high, so I'm anticipating that I'll be able to perceive a lot of that, so let's see how long it takes me to get the cork and cage off, because sometimes that takes forever. Hopefully this one cooperates. Nope. Oh my god. It's such a pain in the ass, these things. I usually do find that the grasping upside down method and then twisting works pretty well. In this case, this cork is just like, it's in there, so... That's not even helping. I'm gonna get it, though. It's coming. Not as fast as I want it to. God damn it. Is it fun just watching me struggle with this? Because it's not fun to struggle. God damn. Jesus Christ, Victory. Can you just... <laughs> That's the whole video. I'm just going to struggle with this. I won't even try the beer. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I would hope it'll help. A little something. I don't know what some people call this thing, but I call it, and have called it for a long time, a snaffler in my family. Rebecca contends that that's not actually a word. Jesus. Well, not even the snaffler helps. I cannot. For the fucking life of me. Oh, wait, here we go. Now I'm just pushing it back and forth. This is the uh, officially like the worst brutal battle beer break. Thanks, Victory. Jamming the shit out of your corks. Don't need this right now. So. All right, it's off. I feel like I'm probably sweating at this point. Um, part of the label's coming off now. So, all right, let's pour this thing. That was a lot of work, so I hope this is really good. Because, god damn, that was a lot of work. All right. Whew. As you can imagine, it looks like a stout. Uh, it's got a nice, like, tan head to it. Uh, very present with the way that I poured it. Uh, looks like it's got it's coming down slowly on the ed, on the uh, edges. So as people say, it has legs. As soon as I pop that cork out, get a lot, a lot, a lot of alcohol going into my nose um, and some sweet uh, notes like that bourbon, like the sweet bourbon aspect, and some vanilla caramel stuff like that. Ooh. A lot of coffee. Actually, a lot more coffee than I was expecting to get out of this because I felt like with the amount of um, bourbon that was just coming right out of the out of the bottle and that ABV that's extremely perceptible, that that would kind of tamp down the coffee quite a bit. But there's a very decent coffee on there. Very roasty smelling coffee with some chocolate right under it. Like a nice kind of milk chocolate. And obviously the the bourbon is on there. There's a woody character from the bourbon barrel. A little caramel. A little vanilla. It smells really good. It smells really, really, really good. And as I kept sniffing, my nose is getting more used to the, the higher ABV smell. And it's not wasn't stinging my nostrils as much as it initially was. So it smell, starts smelling even more harmonious as you keep sniffing. Nice body. 
So my initial taste, okay, so now that I'm letting it sit, I'm really feeling the burn of that 14.3% in the back of my throat um, and the back of my mouth as well. And it's actually starting to just like work its way down, like the warm stinging is just working its way down. Um, but my first initial sip, I wasn't perceiving any of the ABV. It was very smooth um, and just like low on the ABV. A lot of coffee, a lot of chocolate to it. The bourbon is not as present as I thought. I mean, it's present. It's definitely present. But with how high the ABV is, I was expecting that the bourbon would be really overpowering. I think the coffee, the level of coffee they have in this helps to bring that bourbon down to a nice level. Um, it's kind of like the coffee and then there's the chocolate and bourbon right under it on the same level. And then you can get that like oaky character under there with some caramel and some vanilla. Nice beer. Um, really well put together. Like I said, it's got a decent body to it. Yeah. And the thing is, as I keep sipping it, I'm not, I don't, because it's after the initial, you know, taste, I'm not feeling the burn as much of the high ABV. So I could see this being kind of a dangerous beer because as you keep sipping on it, it you're perceiving the ABV less and less. So you could just go faster and faster because it tastes just like a really nice, like bourbon barrel aged coffee stout dessert type beer. And that's how I like to have beers like this. So very nice. Victory, um, for the very first barrel-aged offering that I've had from you, awesome, excellent, keep up with this kind of stuff. So Java Cask, people, if you can still find it on shelves, go do that. Um, if you're any beers, by the way, that you want to see me do on this or on the regular podcast, yes, we do a regular podcast. Podcast is Brutal Battle, uh, and you can just find it on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. Just search that, and web website, BrutalBattle.com. But if there are any particular beers you want us to cover, either on this or on the podcast, just send an email to BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. But until next time, thank you everyone for checking this out, and go have yourself an awesome beer.